This is the ultimate YouTube comment management guide. I've built channels that have received thousands of comments per day with millions of subscribers. This is the basics to the intermediate to the advanced comment management tools that are built into YouTube and using a free tool called TubeBuddy that you can throw on top of that to better manage your comments using YouTube Studio. Are you ready? This is everything you need to know from an executive pro that's been doing this for 10 years. Click that comments tab and YouTube's put together a really great dashboard, if you will, for managing every single comment coming into your YouTube channel. Let me just quickly cover the basics if you're not aware, then I'm gonna get into some really cool, more advanced stuff. So from here, you can choose to apply a heart to comments that uh, you actually enjoy. You can thumbs up comments that you want to sift towards the top of your channel or that you enjoy. And if you give comments a heart, uh, the folks on the other side, the subscribers and viewers, will notice that and your viewers will notice that the heart is applied to it and they'll know that you read the comment. So a great best practice is the heart comments, uh, of course, that uh, are coming from positive subscribers that you like. Other features that are basic here include just being able to reply directly to any comment with, check this out, see the text formatting? You can actually bold, if you have TubeBuddy installed, use italics, use cross through and strike through uh, in clear formatting, if you have TubeBuddy installed, the link in the description below, by the way, if you have TubeBuddy installed, if you want that extra feature on top, TubeBuddy.com slash AWOL versus, if you want to make your comments stand out versus all the other ones on your channel, TubeBuddy just adds those features on top, which is really cool. And don't forget with your comments, you can add emojis by clicking the TubeBuddy emoji tool right here. It just, as you can see, it just overlays on top. It's all here in Google Chrome. So you can add more flair to your replies. Just really cool extra stuff to make your comments more engaging. That's just the basic stuff, right? Then with each one of these comments, you have some extra options here with this dot, dot, dot button on those comments that you can use. Once again, we're still covering the basics. We're gonna go into some really sick stuff you've never even heard of before with comments. You can remove the comment to take it off of YouTube entirely. Report for malicious activity. My favorite feature here is hiding users from the channel. So this is essentially a block of a troll, essentially, so any spam comments and what have you, I hide them from my channel. Channel, And if you have people that are like top fans on your channel, you can always auto approve comments from them if you know they're trustworthy. And you can even from here, add someone as a comment moderator and they can do some of this moderation for you on your channel if you have trusted subscribers trusted employees consultants collaborators etc right here you can add them as a comment moderator easy super fast way to do it cool those are the basic functions of comments on the platform let's go into some of the really advanced and really cool stuff so filters are really cool and they show up on this line right here by default, when you come to the screen with comments, you're going to get well, the ones you haven't responded to, obviously. Those are gonna show up by default. But you can actually sort by other queries hitting this three lines filter button here. That's really cool. So for example, you can do only comments that contain questions. You click that and it pulls up all the questions subscribers have asked and it gives you the opportunity to answer their questions, to answer their queries, and to maybe go to those uh, subscribers that are looking for your help, but you haven't helped them yet. And then you can very quickly narrow down on those and answer their questions very quickly. Uh, great for people that are trying to uh, build deeper relationships with their clients or generate potential business or keep people coming back to the channel or generating a conversation around sorting by contains questions. Now TubeBuddy, as you can see here, uh, the TubeBuddy sh uh, Tom comment filtering tool also has a comment sorting option. So if you do the drop down menu here, you can do ones that contain a question using TubeBuddy. And here's what I like about TubeBuddy. You can do ones that contain a question specifically that I have not replied to. That's a great one. That's just a great default. And you can choose the number of results it shows you. So if you only want, if you only have time to do a few of them, you can do 10 results, hit go, and it'll filter just those for you. Once again, yet another way to just more effectively uh, manage your comments and to manage your community. There are other cool fil filters here you should be aware of that can help you manage comments. Go the built-in ones here in YouTube. Let's talk about a few more of those. Uh, you can do ones that only are your subscribers. 
That's really cool. You can also sort by people that are a channel member if you have that feature enabled, paid customers essentially. And here's a really interesting one that you probably didn't know about. You can sort by subscriber count. So let's say you only wanna interact with people that have influence on YouTube and network with them. You can sort by people that have a certain number of subscribers or greater. So I'm gonna sort by people that have 10,000 or more subscribers that have dropped comments on my channel, and here we go. Here they are right here. This person has 16,000, this one has 22,000, this one has 73,000. So I may want to prioritize replying to these people if I wanna say, be more relevant on YouTube or in the creator community. Really cool stuff to help you maybe build better relationships within your niche, or once you comment with them, for example, on, um, you know, on YouTube, you can then maybe have other conversations with them on other platforms. You see how it pulls up their Twitter right here and their Instagram and their other social media avenues. TubeBuddy throws that on top to my knowledge. Uh, and so you can actually go find these people and their other avenues by clicking this. So let's say I wanted to talk to this person. I'm just randomly clicking on them and network with them on Twitter. I can do that directly from the comment management dashboard to facilitate uh, collaborations and what have you. Pretty cool stuff, right? Pretty cool stuff. Whenever you want to clear a filter, just hit the X and it gets rid of it. Really awesome. Let me show you a couple more comment filtering features, and then we're going to go into the moderation process with comments so you can understand how to do that. Here in TubeBuddy, there's some other really neat filters here. So you can do ones that you have hearted, and you can also do ones that you have not hearted. This is something that is really cool. Uh, so let's do ones I've not hearted 20 results. And so if you want to be the type of YouTuber that shows everybody that you're paying attention to their comments, then sort by not hearted and heart all the comments that you uh, actually liked on your channel and be that super engaged tuber. There's also some other really interesting features such as if you have Patreon, which is a subscription platform you can make money off of, there's an integration here with YouTube where it can sort by comments that are from your Patreon supporters, so you're always replying to them because they are paid customers. And one last item here is you can search for things that contain a specific word. So let's say on my channel I wanted to uh, reply to people that are talking about Facebook as an example. I can type in that specific word, I can hit go, and it's gonna pull up all of the comments on my channel recently that you have the word Facebook in it. So if there's a particular topic you wanna to discuss on your channel, or you wanna get a better idea of what the conversation is like on your channel with that particular word, boom. You type that in, and as you can see, TubeBuddy is sorting by any comment that contains the word Facebook, and it's gonna pull up an aggregate of those for you. Think of all the applications you could use that for. You could search for a particular term for a video game. You could search for a particular product people might be talking about on your channel. You could search for anything at all, a person they're talking about, et cetera. Um, and let's say you're selling a particular type of product and it is relevant to, you know, let's say Facebook. Just as an example, you could sort by everyone who's talking about Facebook and then you could reply to them and maybe have a conversation with them about your product you're trying to sell or your service you're trying to sell. Just an example, just to spark some ideas for you on how you can use this comment uh, sorting tool to better bolster your business. Here's another really interesting one. Uh, it's another TubeBuddy tool, so a lot of these are TubeBuddy, but what you can do is you can do the word cloud feature up here on TubeBuddy that can kind of let everybody know what the conversation is like on your channel overall. So check this out. You click word cloud, and look, it brings up all of the words that people are talking about on your channel, so you can kind of get a better idea of what the main conversation points are on your channel and what people are discussing. And maybe you can double down on those and it can give you inspiration for ideas on content that you can make in the future. Just a really cool bonus feature. It's from TubeBuddy. Uh, install, I, I mean, if you don't, if you aren't inspired by these tools for TubeBuddy for comments, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> if you're interested in comments, it's just great extra features. It's just great extra community management features and, and great ways to have insights on your community. Now, the comment moderation uh, queue is something that we need to take a look at. And so let's go to the held for review tab where YouTube is going to basically automatically uh, hold certain comments for review. And it's pretty decent at filtering out a lot of garbage comments. So as you can see from this one, uh, from sexy girls 24 online, clearly I don't want that, right? And 
other people are trying to sell products and it's kind of keeping these comments here uh, that it's that it's uh, basically held for review. So if you want to, you can go through this, uh, you can go through this queue and you can go look through here on a regular basis and you can take a look and see if some of them um, you know, are legitimate. Like for example, this guy right here is asking me if I, if he can book me as a client, you know what I should probably do. I should probably talk to him. So I'm going to approve that comment by hitting the check mark. And then I'm going to go reply to it, uh, and go talk to him. So occasionally things are held to re for review here and they are not actually spam. So you can periodically check these out and, uh, and deal with them. And what you also want to remember here is that these comments in the held for review tab are deleted automatically every 60 days. There are also filters that you can use here, the same filters that are on the other tab. If you want to filter them, I'd say 95% plus though of the comments that you're going to see in this queue are garbage. If you thought that this was useful at all, be sure to click the link to download TubeBuddy and to use TubeBuddy tools to throw down on top. Link in the description below, tubebuddy.com slash awallverses. And good luck and have fun engaging with your community. Have fun talking with them through this comment queue. It'll just save you a ton of time to do it here versus the mobile app and other places.